Well, as Hurricane Sally is still ever present in our minds, let me read again from the writings of Isaiah as he encouraged God's people. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. You know, if you live around here and you're a beach-going person or a water-loving person, if not, what are you doing here? J just kidding, but you know, there's an element and a taste of peace that comes just from being near the water, even enjoying the serenity that a sunrise or sunset brings, but it's just a taste of what you're designed to enjoy. You see, creation reminds us and gives us insight into the divine, God. All of his attributes, peace and grace and kindness, but you only get the experience of a staying peace through knowing Jesus personally and by persistently staying your mind on him, the Prince of Peace. You see, Isaiah says, those who are kept in peace are those who keep their minds on what's most true. And here's what's most true. Jesus is the one who's present right now and who gives a staying peace through the storm that you're in. The Lord doesn't take away all the storms in our lives. That place is called heaven. I can't wait for that. But Jesus, here and now, he's our staying peace in all of life's storms. You see, tune in here, listen. Jesus is coming, he's coming again and soon, but for now, as we wait, be encouraged and do as Isaiah says to do, keep your mind stayed on the Lord.